Good morning, I'm Kathleen Pate and this is my Alabama Farm Life. Today I'm going to put together and do a review on the Wild Game Innovations. This is going to be for the Wildlife Feeder. It's the Wildlife Innovation 6 Volt Digital Power Control. I ordered it off of Amazon for $54.97. I have Prime, so shipping was free. I purchased these to replace the two that failed on me last year. That's it. I'll include a link to the video up here in the corner. Along with the two new feeder kits, I also ordered one new battery. The other two batteries worked fine, but I wanted to make sure. The box was neatly packed and there was no wasted room. Inside were the arms and the housing unit. And everything came out of the box very easily. Getting into the housing unit is fairly easy. There is a small lever on the bottom that you push up and allows the door to open easily. Inside the housing unit are all the supplies you need to assemble this product. The first thing I'm going to assemble are the arms. So I opened up the bag of nuts and bolts and I chose the six pieces that I would need to assemble them. I'm gonna need the two silver bolts, two washers and two wing nuts. The arms need to be placed on the unit with the wing side out. And it was constructed to allow you to adjust the arms to a higher or lower length. I'm gonna slide the bolt into the pre-drilled hole. And then I'm gonna add the washer and then the wing nut. Right now I'm just gonna use my fingers to tighten it down as much as possible. I'm going to flip the unit over and do the same thing on the other side. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test everything. I want to make sure that my timer is working properly and that my battery is fully charged. I also want to make sure that the motor works too. That's, that's really important to test. I really would hate to get this thing all set up outside and it not work. So today we're not going to follow the directions. I have the timer pulled out. It has a red and black wire and a blue and white wire. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the plastic off the glass facing. I want to make sure that this timer works and that my battery is fully charged. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the timer. This is very easy. Black goes to black and red goes to red. And the timer works just fine. Next, I want to test the motor. But the first thing that you want to do is take off these black protective covers off of the pins. I'm going to take the blue and white wires and I'm going to put one on one side and one on the other. Per the instructions, it doesn't matter which side is which. You want to be careful when doing this. You do not want to break the pins. However, you do want them in there set as tight as possible because I believe the vibration may cause them to pull out. Everything is set up, so now let's give it a test.
I'm gonna call that a successful test. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the wires on the battery and I'm going to pack everything back up into the container. I never could find instructions saying specifically how the box should be packed. So I just put it in there as neatly as possible. Put the new feeder cone in along with the screws that I'm going to need to attach this to my feeder. I also went ahead and grabbed the instructions, especially to the timer because I still haven't played with it enough to know how to use it. Now it's time to get it outside and see how well it works on my feeders. This was a fairly easy project to put together. The only things that I anticipate that may go wrong with this unit is the encroachment of water. I'm going to look into making it a little bit more waterproof. That was a problem with my last ones. They got wet and they failed. These units only have a one year warranty, so I'm going to be keeping a close eye on them. And if they do fail, I will let you know. Another thing that I noticed that could fail with this product is the vibration. While testing it, I had the wires from the little motor fall off. So that was an issue. So make sure that you've got them in there good and tight. You might want to use a crimp tool to make sure that they're in there good. I have to say that it was very easy to install and I'll be putting out another video showing the entire process. At the end of deer season, I will break these down and I'll do another review on how well they held up. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. I appreciate everyone and remember to love each other and be good to each other. You guys have a great day.